Well, we have a semi-early morning, so we have ordered room service breakfast, which is included. So we have each gotten an American breakfast. Look at that, America. Coffee, of course, with creamer. And we each have a passion fruit yogurt. Right on time. Welcome to Skagway. We have not been at the railroad dock in a long time, because I don't remember having this perspective on the rock slide area. Ah, so we are in with Koenigsdam today. We're the only two ships in, and we're both at the railroad dock. They are in the aft position, way back there, and they are using shuttle buses to get ashore. We are in the closer position, and we are using tender boats to get ashore. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, so they don't let you really walk on no. this rock slide area anymore. Probably. Even though they've kind of got it blocked off and all that stuff, but... Anyway, we have a tour booked today through the ship, so we will let them handle all the logistics. We won't need to get a tender ticket or anything like that, so good deal. Good, good morning, morning, officially. Yeah, we didn't even know really until yesterday that we were going to be tendering today. We learned about it at the show, mm. and then they made announcements. You could pick up your tickets at 7 a.m. at the Rolling Stone Lounge. But the process, I guess, is easy because you don't go get your tickets until you're actually ready to yeah. go ashore. So you just show up, get a ticket, and basically join, I guess, a virtual line, you know, so you can just go chill until they call your number. Which is nice. You don't have to, like, wait in line forever and grab them. So. Yeah, but anybody who has a tour booked 10 a.m. or earlier gets mm -hmm. to meet in the world stage, and you get led off the ship. So we are choosing the easy method today. We had already booked it. We had. <laughs> it just works out. Yeah, so we're going to the <laughs> Musher's Camp to mm -hmm. see sled dog puppies. Puppies! And then they teach you how to roast s'mores. Something we haven't done here before, mm. so trying something new. We're trying some more stuff in Skagway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. And then after that, we have plenty of time to wander mm -hmm. around town, so I think we'll just get up to no good, as yep. we always do in Skagway. Got some fun plans. That's it. Let's, Let's get this thing it. started. <laughs> so the meeting location is right here on deck one inside the world stage. Oh, we just good checked morning. in, got our stickers. Blue 23. Oh, we are Blue 23. Oh, okie dokie. Gosh, what timing. We're there right in time. <laughs> so our meeting time was 8.20, 8.16. We wandered in. They're like, well, let's do this thing. Down to a deck. Well, a couple of steps up, a couple of steps down. minute tender ride and here we are. Last tender, 7.45. Now we've checked in over here. They've stationed us over by these convenient restrooms and whatnot. They provided a bush full of snacks. Yum, yum, yum. Maybe I won't eat those, but they might be okay. <laughs> here is our ride, bus number 10. Bumpy ride, but we're here. <laughs> so we are very near the old site of the town of Dai, which sadly died off after the gold rush. It didn't last like Skagway did. It went pretty fast. Yeah. Bring on the puppies and the s'mores. Oh, we got restrooms over on this side. A little shopping area over here. Oh, I just saw a dog running around over there. Musher's camp. Little theater area. Oh, good. Have our talk. There are puppies over there. I think this is the uh, fireweed has gone to seed. See it floating in the air there. Oh, puppies. If you see any cottony stuff floating around, that's what it is. Fireweed seed, I guess. We got dog warts. That looks like where we're getting ready to have a talk. 
This is the boneyard. Yeah, so these are the retired dogs, they said. Yeah. They like to move a lot, though. So. Oh, this looks like the puppy zone over here. Meg says dog warts. They're here clearly to learn their doggy wizarding skills. Oh gosh, we're going to be using our doggy voices today again, aren't we? We talked about those when we went up to Car Cross. <laughs> so we should be starting off here in a few minutes with a talk about the Iditarod. We've got some uh, weird shadows and things happening up there, but I think we can make the camera understand what we, what we want to see. Um, so my job is basically helping everybody take care of the dogs. It's a big group effort. Um, and then I also run two teams up top. Uh, but diphtheria was an illness that broke out over in the town of uh, we have the serum for it over in the Nana, but no way of making it over. So their only solution was to do a relay of sled dogs to make it across Alaska in the safe of town. And they were successful. Um, Balto tends to get a lot of the credit because he got a Disney movie before anybody else in the 90s. Yes. <laughs> um, but he's also the dog that did that final section of the relay so he crossed that finish line into Nome. Right. That's where a lot of his fame comes from. Mm -hmm. um, but Togo ran the longest stretch. He's kind of an unsung hero. They decided to up the ante a little bit and tie in that diphtheria on history and now end the race where that ended over in Nome, which now makes the race 1,049 miles. Wow. Wow. Um, so if you guys are with Mark, and you guys are the s'more store, then you guys are going to be starting over here at the Shark Tank. Now we get to visit the older puppies first. These guys are about four and a half months, they said. Hello. Hey, friends. Go to the right side here. It's because it's shorter. Let's see if D, the puppy whisperer, can make some friends. So they're distracted by their toys right now. So these are our looky look dogs. These are the ones that we observe and you can play with them over the fence. But apparently after this, we get to cycle over and see some six week old puppies from a mama named Tesla. Man, they're rowdy. They have Tesla and Nook, I think, that have baby puppies, but we'll be, get to see Tesla's puppies today. I like Tesla. <laughs> Man, they love this tennis ball. A squirrel got in there earlier and they were, went nuts after that squirrel. Well, I think I saw the squirrel escape under the fence line. Gosh, one of them is in the hamster wheel over there. <laughs> Can I have your tennis ball? We're going to use our doggy voices, okay? Hey, pop, 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 pop. Oh, bye. Yeah, where's part of the job? Get the dog to We have a slide to teach them how to go down on slippery surfaces so they don't sprawl out on all fours like the thing you did the first time you got on ice. <laughs> Dixie is the mother of this litter and she had seven. This was in the book's litter. Um, time to make the swap from these puppies. Oh, Rainier! Over to the other puppies. All right, let's join the line. You got a chunky little puppy friend. Wow. You smell like a puppy. Oh, the puppy friend is gonna eat your sweater. Here, just eat my finger rather than the sweater. Yeah. There we go. That's Lance. He's the puppy of the week. You're the puppy. Oh, you got the puppy of the week. So you're the puppy of the week, huh? Congrats. You did it. Yeah. So now this is not going to fit in your backpack. Yeah. I mean, it will, but it. I heard of somebody trying to do that. Oh my gosh! Don't do that. <laughs> Hello, little friend. What are you going to find on me to nibble? Your collar. My. He can, he can nibble a chin off, and I'd be okay. Take, take a little extra off while you're down there. He's adorable. Wow. Okay. Can we hold all of them? Maybe. No. We have to return this one and trade it out for another model. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan of the plaid, I see. Or leopard print. <laughs> oh, you're very tired now. All that nibbling has made you sleepy. <laughs> now we got you another friend. Yeah, the mission is to hold all, I don't remember how many puppies there are, but I don't know your name, little friend. Are you also a sweater chewer? I think they just like the sweaters. Yeah. They smell so puppy. What is the smell of puppy? I'm sure people know the smell of puppy, but how would you describe it? Puppy. Puppy. Yeah, really know that's it. Can you smell like a puppy? <laughs> Look, if I hold you up like this, he's like, oh no, there's nothing to chew. I can't even reach a sleeve because I got him under his arms. <laughs> He'll just get your face. All right, here, come chew my sleeve then. 
Yep. He's gifting. That's <laughs> exactly what he wants to do. He wants Miss Lee. So this dog doesn't technically have a name yet. I'm not sure he's picked out the names for all of these uh, look, the puppies that kind of look similar. And the names are to be assigned. So D has named this one Chew. Chewy. Chewy. <laughs> Chewy. Yep, eat the sleep. Sure you guys want your s'more time. Oh, I just heard nah, I'll do puppies. <laughs> yeah, you would trade s'more time for puppy time. There's plenty of food on the ship. <laughs> Oh, puppy kisses for the road. Oh, that was cute. I can bring you a s'more if you like. No. Can the dog eat a s'more? No, 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 no. Thank you. Uh, time to head over to oh, s'mores. <laughs> oh, I guess this is Nook. Her puppies are kind of underneath the little house. Malamute Saloon. All right, we're going to head out this way. They've gone in to retrieve our s'more supplies. It looks like they've got mule panning here too. So you can do like lots of combo tours that involve these puppies. There's a place over there. I see the sign that says Smoresville. Thank you. You're welcome. We've retrieved our s'mores kits. Oh, hey. <laughs> welcome to Smoresville. <laughs> our weapons. <laughs> I don't think we're all adults here, I don't, so I don't think we've got to worry about um, telling you guys these are not swords. Oh. <laughs> Let the roasting begin. I like it burnt. I know, we usually just catch them on fire, blow it out, yes. call it a day. Yes. Yeah, this takes oh. patience to get that perfect roast. Oh, oh. yours is on fire. <laughs> oh. Not coming to clean out the mic. I actually got one to not catch on fire. How about that? That's some progress. Well, it's handy they've got water. We've returned our sticks over there. Oh, gosh, look at all these sticks. So we got about 15 minutes. I think we'll check out this waterfall. Gold! I am terrible at that, as I've learned recently. Follow the sound of the water, they said. Please stay on the trail. Can do. Just a few steps to the top. Look at all this moss. Oh, here at the top we have a nice little boardwalk. Oh, there's like a, a tour vehicle coming down. This is cool. Yeah, the views from the top are definitely worth it. It's not a whole lot of steps to get up here. Maybe. 20 or so. Oh, I see these big rides up here are the ones if you're doing the actual sled combination tour. Aha! Yeah, somebody said they did see a salmon today, but the run here is over, so chances are not likely. All aboard. Hey, left the doors open. There could be anything on here. Puppy in here. Wow, puppies. There's no puppies in here, you fibber. <laughs> there could be. We've made a quick scenic stop right here at this gorgeous greenish lake over here. You can kind of see the coloration over on this side, but kind of looking into the sun for the most part. Gorgeous. Very pretty. All right, on we ride. Well, we had the option of being dropped off back at the ship or here in town, so we chose Rachir. Broadway and 7th, which is handy because I think we're going to grab some food and do some stuff. Cute. Ooh. This is a cute little alleyway to get through. Ooh, one place we had our eye on was Barbecue Shack, but they have not been open. I hear some ravens. We could eat those or crows if we get too hungry. Cute little place though. Anyway, let's move on to Plan B. Up here at 4th Avenue should be Skagway Brewing, and we have been meaning to check this place out for a hundred million years. 
Let's try it. We're right here next to a tempting Thai food restaurant. What? All right, it's Gagway Brewing. Oh, we can look at the menus. A little glary, maybe we'll see those. Yeah. We'll look at these with our eyeballs. Okay, so they have a pub side, a restaurant upstairs, which we can check in for, and like a little gift shop over on this side. What about a 15 to 20 minute wait? We have joined the wait list, and I can check my position in line. That's amazing. <laughs> I love technology. Oh, we can do a digital menu. We've got 10 parties ahead of us, but I don't think that'll take too long to get through. So we're going to look at the menu. You know, I can open it up and look at it and while we wait, too. But <laughs> That didn't take very long at all. Let's climb some steps. They do have an elevator also. Well, just in case you did not scan the QR code to see the menu, we will take a quick tour down it. Here is the other side with all the stuff and things. Very nice. Reindeer chili dog. So Dee has gotten some freshly brewed water <laughs> here at the brewery. I decided to try a beer flight. And y'all know I'm not really a beer guy. But I asked, what are some good beers for people that might not necessarily be beer guys. I know I wanted to go with the Spruce Tip Blonde. That's a classic. They recommended the Farmhouse Saison. I believe I ended up with the Prospector Juicy Pale Ale. And then I said, let's throw something dark on there. So we got the Blue Top Porter. Now, I don't know if you start light to dark or dark to light. I just want to try this Spruce Tip because that's, you know, they do a lot of stuff with Spruce Tips. It's nice and crisp. It's not something I can deal with. Maybe I'll become a beer guy. Dee tried blue cheese again the other day, and she actually kind of enjoyed it, so I'm a little afraid because I always get all your blue cheese. So that has nothing to do with beer. But anyway, I'm going to make my way through this. We'll catch up with you. Cheers. All right, I've tried them all. They're all actually quite good, but this porter has like coffee notes and stuff in it. So I'll go ahead and give that one a whirl. I'll try it. That was one of my favorites, actually. The spruce tip and the porter. There's something dark and deep about it. Oh, apparently not. No, it's good. It's really dark, but it does have the coffee notes and that bitter that hits you, right? Yeah. Okay. But it's good. Not your thing. <laughs> wow, I thought they were bringing a new table out to us. Uh, they brought a giant slab of a salad which you have added salmon to. Yeah? No, it's, it's, this is a salmon salad. Oh, that's salad, right. Because yeah. they had salads you could add protein to, but this was properly Sesame yes. salmon salad. Nice. That looks amazing. I need some veggies. All right. I decided to stick with salmon also. I got the grilled salmon sandwich. He's down there. Fries, and of course they've got ketchup, vinegar, all sorts of stuff over here. And a free gift if you scan that and take it down to the gift shop. Mm. Ah, well that was fairly fantastic. Was really I am super full. <laughs> Well, it's relatively quiet with only two ships in today. We're a pretty small ship. I think our next adventure is going to be wandering down here to the Days of 98 show. They've got a 2.30 performance. We have not seen that since 2019. Good show. Yeah, so here at what I think is the historic Eagles building is home to the Days of 98 show. This is not where you go in. You go in around the corner. Conveniently, right here behind the building, are public restrooms. There's actually quite a few sets of public restrooms here, which is nice to see. In this town, I mean. There's a giant park over here by these restrooms. Molly Walsh Park. Look at all that play excitement. Well, here's where they keep their knees in the park. I haven't done this forever. Did you ever try and like flip over the bar as a child and then jump out? No, because so right? I'm smart. You never do that now. <laughs> Oh, I'm going high. <laughs> if you think there's any chance that you might get hurt playing on this equipment, don't do it because you have to be medevaced to Juno. And they said it cost, you know, $40,000 plus to be flown to Juno on a helicopter. This is the prettiest view in a park ever, though. We can see a glacier. glacier right yeah, now. glacier view <laughs> from the park. Anyway, yeah, there's a uh, like an urgent care type thing here, but they said there's not really any physicians in town. They have some couple of PAs, but yeah, Juno is where you have to go if you hurt yourself. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Yeah, our view from the park includes a little peak at a glacier up there. I think that's the one they do the helicopter tours over. Yeah. Well, this is like a little quiz. I don't know what you do with the answers. You're just supposed to say like. An eagle is like the air. Alaska and oh, other parts of the U.S. Maybe. Fun though. Africa. 
oh, got information about Molly Walsh. And then this is, who are you? Oh, you're Molly Walsh. Gotcha. We're finding all kinds of fun stuff while we just wander the streets killing time until show time. I don't think there's any moose. Well, I've never seen a moose here. There is the main entrance. So they had 10.30 and 2.30 today. Sometimes they do have three show times, I've noticed. Maybe with more ships in port. All right, we just grabbed our tickets. Let's come get some seats. Feel free to take photos during the performance. I already asked and photos and videos are fine. They got programs. They got the tunes bumping. Ready for a good time. So from what I recall, the show normally runs about an hour, lots of audience participation. We won't show you the whole thing, malicious. We'll bring you a few bits and pieces and then come see it yourself to discover the rest of the story. Yeah. Side note, this show started in 1923, so we are here for the 100th anniversary season. Soap and the patriarchal locks once more will adorn your brow. Your hair turning gray? Use my soap and those silver threads will return the pristine glory of youth. A smart and stylish girl you see, bell of the society. I have come to wow us and brace till our high lips he steals a taste. Ta ra 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 They paid me their five dollars, chose a bar of soap, and unwrapping it produced. To the astonishment of the crowd, a $20 bill. Me and my three associates. Oh, you remember them, the three lucky winners? Well, the four of us had vanished down a nearby alleyway, leaving the crowd behind in a dazed and befuddled stupor. Slippery Soapy Smith. Rock him every morning. Sometimes they do an evening show that involves like some playtime in their little casino. Very cute. And they also have restrooms. Whoopsh. Well, 
we have had a heck of a Skagway day, shall I say. I think we're gonna head back to the ship now. Tenderback. Railroad dock. All right, I guess we're gonna take this little path down by the stream as we kind of have the past few times we've been here. Yeah. Right here across the Pullin Creek stream walk. Yeah, we saw some expired salmon in the stream. Yeah, here's our impromptu 100 foot nature walk. Very nice. Just follow the red hexagons. And of course they do have the shuttle. It does, uh, I think the pricing I saw today was $3 one way, $5 round trip. But we like to get them steps in. Definitely. Koenig's Dam shuttles to the left, tenders to the right, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> Hopefully everybody remembers which dam ship to get on. All aboard. Oh, we've got a whole lifeboat to ourselves as of right now. That works. Either we just missed one, now we have to wait for the next cycle. We are here, good to go. <sighs> good good evening. evening, fresh and clean and dinner, but first, Skagway day. Hey, hey, hey. It was really good. So we got to do something we've never done before. Mm. And we even got to go to what was Dye? Yeah. Dye? Dye. 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 It's D-Y-E-A. So Dye. I never know how to pronounce it. I'm taking Steve Height's pronunciation. Yeah. Dye. It's a really pretty area. Um, they have lots of activities back there I never would have known. Yeah. Note, it is extremely bumpy. So if you any sort of back injuries, anything like that, just be careful. Yeah, um, just the drive out there is half not paved, basically. Mm -hmm. But once we got there, it was amazing. And we learned a little bit about the Iditarod, got to hold little cute puppies and play with some old, like four month old ones. Yeah. And then had some s'mores, which I realize now I don't actually like s'mores. You're, not, you're a dark chocolate girl <laughs> and you're a cinnamon graham girl, so. Yeah, but it was a beautiful setting, lots of fun. And then we came back to town and uh, went to Skagway Brewing for the oh, first yeah. time and saw Days of 98 for a second beers. time. Yeah. It was a really great day, yeah. Yeah, up on, up at the uh, Mushers camp, I didn't realize they had zip lining apparently. Yeah, gold uh, panning. Yeah, there's a lot mm -hmm. of stuff going on up there. Lots of things. So that we booked through the ship, yes. obviously. So if you're looking for that one, ship. And yeah. thanks to Holland America for providing that one for us. Thank the rest you. of the day we did on our own. Mm -hmm. But yeah, very good to see Days of 98 show again. It's a little different, scaled down from the 2019 yeah. version I remember, but still fun, a good dose of history about mm -hmm. Soapy Smith and Frank Reed and all these guys. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, dinner time. Let's eat food. Let's do it. <laughs> Decoration form submitted. Well, we're passing by here at Guest Services. They have got the luggage tags out already, so you can sort of choose your own adventure for disembarkation day. Hello, dining room. What's an Alaskan brunch? That sounds fascinating. Would you look at that Koenig's damn view we got out there. back in the cabin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. Dinner and eating dinner just made me so tired. We had a busy day so we're gonna get a little bit more work done and just kind of rest, watch movie, you know, have a peaceful evening. That's true. Now one <laughs> thing we got to talk about is we were excited because we had a lot of northern ports on this itinerary so we've always been on the quest for the northern lights. Yes. Last night we finally, because there's an app we use called the Aurora Tracker. Mm -hmm. People are always like, what does the icon look like? It looks like this. <laughs> Magic, y'all. Whoa. Holy moly. Um, but that's the app we use. And we actually got into like a 50% zone 
last night of a probability of seeing the Northern Lights. And Dee went out there with her um, night sight on her Multiple Google Pixel. Times. And you actually captured that there was a lot of clouds and you're only going to see the Northern Lights where there are no clouds in the sky mm -hmm. usually. So in some of the no cloud zones, we'll put those pictures up while we're talking about it, you got some swirly whirlies. And the funny Ooh. thing is, I didn't even realize that I looked at my pictures last night in the dark in the room because we're trying to have no extra light and I was like, Ugh, I didn't see anything. Could not see it with our eyes. You had to see it in the yeah. pictures. And I'm looking through today, I was like, what is that green stuff? Yeah, because it's the Northern Light. There's a yellow part, <clears throat> yeah. which we think was the lights coming off of Juno, because we were mm -hmm. right around where you make the turn to start heading up towards Skagway, just outside of Juno. So you got Juno City lights reflected in the clouds, but green swirly whirlies. I'm excited now oh. just to see them with the naked eyes. The next goal. That's the next goal. But we've never seen them before. You gotta come up here in February or something. <laughs> I don't know when it's real cold. The app is good though. That's true. Mm -hmm. <gasps> It's time to talk about dinner. Oh, that light is creeping. Speaking of light, <laughs> you started off with a salad. It's an on dive, on dive salad with, um, what is it? Mandarin it's oranges, <laughs> strawberries, and avocado with a balsamic dressing. Really tasty, like a fruity salad, because I guess avocado is technically, botanically, it has a, a pit. fruit. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot, though. Nice. I had, no, I only got these because they were called Hubbard Glacier Fritters. It was a shrimp and cod fritter. It had corn in there too. The name sold me on them. They were pretty good. The flavor was actually really good. Texture wise, they were a little gummy, but not like off puttingly gummy. I feel like it was more fritter than stuff, but the stuff that was in there was good. Mm. So I approve. <laughs> you had tuna. Mustard crusted tuna. That's a lot of tuna. Delicious with some onion rings and corn and spinach and tomato sauce. Delicious. Perfectly seasoned. It was seared a little more firm than I would normally think seared would oh, be. Oh, yeah. But it was still really good. It still had the pink, but just a little more firm. Um, yeah, lovely. <laughs> nice. I got chicken with caramel apples. And I only got this because I was like, what the heck does this even mean? There were some um, apples around the plate and some dried apples on top. But overall, it was a really good flavor. It's a reduced Calvados sauce, which when we were in Honfleur, we learned about Calvados. Yeah. Um, but yeah, flavors came together really well. It said it had a pecan pilaf, and the pilaf was good. I didn't detect any pe pecans in there. <laughs> but really good flavors overall, and the chicken was cooked well, nice and tender. Yep. You got, you went off menu actually, and got a fruit plate for dessert. So I asked them, could they just do fruit? And they said, yes, of course. So a fruit plate, because you never know unless you ask, right? That took the it place of your uh, s'more. <laughs> he was like, you don't want dessert? I was like, no, I had s'mores earlier. They're terrible for you. I had a s'more also, but I got the chocolate <laughs> blackout cake, which was really good. It was dark. It was like that deep, dark cave that I lived in yesterday at dinner, <laughs> but there was no apricot orchard. It was just, a, I was growing marshmallows in a field. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> it was de decadent, I tell you. So <laughs> I approve of that. If you like chocolate, yum, yum. And we had coffee, which helped like. Oh, the coffee's up, so. amazing. Yeah. That's it, y'all. It's yeah. time to stop talking and start sleeping. <laughs> Working. That's true. We love <laughs> that too. So we will see you tomorrow. Yes. Sitka. Mm hmm it's to rain, rain. Like all day long, so we'll see. We haven't, can't have perfect weather every That's day, true. right? We're going to get that true September weather tomorrow, I think. <laughs> we'll so see. See you tomorrow. Good night.